First, remove all the screws from the grill and pull it away from the cabinet. Next, remove all the screws holding the horn. Carefully remove the tweeter from the cabinet and disconnect the leads by pressing down on the terminals to release the wires. Unscrew the compression driver from the horn. And then unscrew the four screws from the back of the compression driver and lift off the cover. Now you can remove the diaphragm. It's not necessary, but now is a good time to clean the unit. We use brake cleaner. In a well-ventilated area, spray the compression driver. Wipe it clean and allow about five minutes for it to completely dry. Next, set the new diaphragm in place. Carefully put on the back and secure the four screws. Reattach the assembly back into the horn. Reconnect the wires to the driver by connecting the positive, or in this case the white wire, to the red terminal, and the negative, or black wire, to the black terminal. Set the horn in the cabinet and replace all the screws. Reattach the grill, and you're done.